Villa Suite. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020, and welcome back to another edition of Crafting with Crevac. Boys and girls, this coming Sunday, May 10th, is Mother's Day. This is a day to celebrate mom and tell her how much you love her. It's not just for mom, but it can also be for grandma, aunt, or maybe even another special adult figure in your life. Today, boys and girls, we're going to make a special art project for that person. Let's take a look at what we're gonna need. First, you're gonna need your colors. I like to use markers, but if you like to use crayons or colored pencils, you can use those. So I have my markers. I also have a pair of scissors, my pencil, and my glue stick. Boys and girls, the other thing you're going to need is a, a piece of white paper and some other pieces of paper, colored paper, and it could be a different, a bunch of different things. So I found some post-it notes that I have, and these are different colors. I also found some envelopes that I had uh, for some cards that I probably won't use. So they're different colors, so I'm gonna use those as well. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to take the, the paper and we're going to write this at the top of your paper. Mom, comma, you make my heart flutter. Now, at the bottom of the paper, you're gonna to wanna to say love and your name. Okay, so let me go ahead and write my name at the bottom because I'm going to give this to my mom. So I'm gonna write love Comma, Mr. Krivak. Okay, now, the reason I have all my colors is because I don't wanna just leave this with just pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to trace Okay, so now I've got this part done and I can go ahead and trace over the bottom part too. Now, the next part is gonna be the fun part. Now, you could tell, you might be thinking, Mr. Krivak, why did you write, make my heart flutter? Well, what's one thing that flutters? You guessed it, butterflies. So you're going to be making some butterflies. Now, if you don't have any colored paper, that's okay, you can just do it on white paper. So what I did was I took a small piece of white paper and I folded it in half. Then I drew the outline of a butterfly, or of the wings. So the first part of the butterfly wings is really big and it kind of curls in. And then the bottom part of the butterfly wings is smaller. So then I curled it this way. So now I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna leave it folded, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my butterfly shape. And while you're cutting, you have to kind of turn the paper as you cut to get that nice smooth edge. Okay, now let me open it up. And there is my fluttering butterfly. Now, I'm going to attach this butterfly to my paper with just one side of the wing. But before I do that, I wanna decorate this. So, let me trace the outside or the outline of my butterfly in red. And actually, I'll do this over here on my mat just because I don't want to get any of the marker on Mom's Mother's Day project. Okay, so that's the outside part of the butterfly's wings. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some decorations on the inside part, and I'm gonna do that by drawing some circles. And I wanna color them in. Now 
and then I'll do one more down here. Okay, to make my butterfly a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some other designs. So I'm gonna do some bigger circles or ovals like this. And then, lastly, I'm going to color those in. I got to be careful with markers because sometimes they smear together. Okay, so now I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to take one of its wings and I'm going to put glue on it with my glue stick. And if you don't have a glue stick and you just want to use regular glue, that works too. If you don't have any glue, you guessed it, you could also use tape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press this down onto my paper. I'm going to press really firm. And then I'm going to open the butterfly's wings a little bit. Okay, so now I have the butterfly down. Now I need to finish the butterfly. So let's go ahead and draw the head of the butterfly right here and now I'm going to draw the body with smaller circles okay then I can go ahead and I can color that in if I'd like to or I like to draw smiley faces so I'm going to draw a little smiley face on my butterfly and don't forget, butterflies also have antennas. Now, what else am I gonna add to my butterfly? I wanna show that it's flying. So I'm gonna draw these little tiny dash marks to show that my butterfly is actually flying on mom's page or paper. Okay. Now here's another one that I already cut out and colored. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue on the back. Whoops. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this one on my paper. I think I'm gonna put this one down here. Okay, and again, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the body of the butterfly. First with the head, and then with the body. And then I can color in that however I would like. And then again, I wanna make this butterfly with little dash marks to show that it's flying all over the paper. Boys and girls, you can go ahead and put as many butterflies on your paper for mom. Don't forget to color in the other letters and don't forget the antenna too on your butterfly. So for this one, I almost forgot, let's make, let's make some purple ones. Boys and girls, I've had a lot of fun making this art project with you today. I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful upcoming weekend.